gentlemen, welcome to the largest outdoor esports competition in Southeast Asia, ISF 14 World Esports Championships Bali 2022. All right, once again, Merusaka, are you ready? Right now, we are on a fire stage with me today, Gary Eka as the host of the event. So guys, I would like to share you some information about this event. The ISF 14 World Esports Championship will be a part of the Indonesia Esports Summit 2022. An annual celebration of the country's esports ecosystem initiated by ISF and PBSE. With the goal to involve all esports stakeholders in Indonesia, including game publishers, game developers, pro teams, athletes, influencers, brands, community, and media in the country. In this year, ISF 14 World Esports Championship 2022 followed by 106 countries. And this is make this event as esports event with the most nationality competing offline. Give me applause, everybody. Okay. We have four marvelous thematic stage here. Earth, air, ice, and fire. And we have six games include CSGO, Dota 2, Mobile Legends Bang Bang, PUBG Mobile, eFootball 2023, and Tekken 7. And for today, we are here in a fire stake to watch the tournament of the PUBG Mobile. And of course, for the prize pool for the PUBG Mobile, third place will get 20,000 US dollars. Second place, 30,000 US dollars. And the first place is 50,000 US dollars in a total price, $100,000 only in PUBG Mobile. And we have the previous World Championship from 2009 until 2018 here. So, in 2009, we have uh, Korea, South Korea as a winner, and the host city is Taibaek. 2010, still South Korea, and the host city is Daegu. In 2011, we have Sweden as the winner, and the host city is Andong in South Korea. And in 2012, is still South Korea with the host city of Seonan in South Korea. 2013, we have still South Korea as a winner, and the host city is Bucharest, Romania. And uh, 2014, still South Korea in the host city of Baku. 2015, Serbia, and the host city is Seoul, South Korea. 2016, still South Korea the winner, and the host city is Jakarta, Indonesia. 2017, is still South Korea, and the host city is Busan. And 2018, the winner still South Korea and the host city is Kao Siung. So, what are you waiting for? We are gonna introduce you guys to the caster who lead the game for today. So, please welcome Dona Fiska and El Doge. Welcome, welcome, welcome everyone to the IESF 14th World Sports Championship 2022 live from Bali, Indonesia. And in this beautiful place, we're going to see the battle between the teams, between the countries in the battleground of PUBG Mobile. And I'm going to be guys, your shoutcaster for today and with my amazing partner here, Eldoge. Hi, Eldoge. Hello, Dona. Are you good today? Very good. Very okay. excited. How me too, are you? me too. I'm good. And I'm really excited about the gameplay because mm -hmm. a lot of countries and yeah. this year actually the first time PUBG Mobile joined for the World Esports Championship. Finally, yeah. finally, finally. But of course, Aldoge and also all of you guys back there at home, we are going to shout out to our sponsors here. Main sponsor, we have JHL Group and also we are sponsored by JHL Auto, Nusa Pay, DAS, Gudang Crypto, Taiwan Excellence, Pertamina, and Hydro Coco. And also official telco partner, Telcomcell, official smartphone partner, Samsung Galaxy A series that will be 
used by the players. Of course. And also internet service provider partner in the home. Travel management partner HIN, hotel partner Episode Hotel, and also Marusaka Hotel, a sports broadcast partner Mineski Global, IFEL, and also ESIT. Production partner Lemon ID, and also media partner Net TV, Trans Studio, The Tick Home, Esports.id, Video.com, Dunia Games, Dance TV, Dance Play, Pera Putih, Bola Score, and Kami Bijak. And also, we are supported by government. Oh. Thank you so much for Kemenpora, for Korea, M MCST, Connie, and OC Indonesia, and also Wonderful Indonesia. Yep, yep, yep. And also, ladies and gentlemen, we are currently at Bali, yep. which is amazing because previous day we are walking around, yeah, yeah strolling see around. something, yeah, and I hope all the players have the same experience. Yeah, yeah, and I hope they are also having fun here in Bali because all like Bali degree. has like so many things to do. Yep, yep. You can go to the coastal area, to the beach, of course, even you can go up to the mountain. Oh. Yeah, ba basically Bali has everything. So all the terrain, yeah. 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 <laughs> but there's no Miraman here, right? I think <laughs> Bali has like a um, savanna kind of thing. Oh, so it's kind of like similar to PUBG Mobile, right? We got like uh, forests. But we got beaches. Okay, beaches and then also hill. Yeah, hill. Yeah, but you know what? What? There is a fun fact. Because mm. the new map, the newest map, which is yeah. Livik. So, so not Livik. Nusa. Nusa is actually inspired inspired by Bali. Bali. And right now we are at Nusa Dua. Nusa Dua. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. And uh, this weekend we're going to go to Nusa Penida, no? No, no, no. <laughs> you no, want no. to? I want to, but I want to see the ISF as well. Oh, yeah, yeah. of course. It's because a lot of games, right? Not only mm. PUBG Mobile. And ladies and gentlemen, behind us, there are the players and they are still preparing. But for you guys, before the ISF come out, we want to say there are three groups, right? Yeah. Divided to three groups, so we will have a round robin team. Yep. A versus B, B versus C, and also A versus C. Yeah. Yeah, and this is gonna be like a packed, full of game, yep, yep. full of fun, full of interest things to see. Especially like, come on, it, this in this past two years or three years, okay. we only like see the players from our screen. Ah. online like now even though not all of the teams are like pmgc's team but they are also amazing as well but ladies and gentlemen let's see the tournament for format and also all of the information about this iesf 14th world sports championship check this out so this is the tournament format like i said earlier there are three groups a b and c mm -hmm. and for the group stage we are having 19 teams they will compete for about three days. Then we already have four finalists, including uh, no, 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 not include Indonesian. So with Indonesian, yeah. five finalists mm -hmm. from each regional: Kazakhstan, Morocco, Turkey, and also Brazil. Yeah, Kazakhstan, Morocco, Turkey, and also Brazil come from their region's um, qualifier, and they're gonna be playing directly at the main event later on and i believe it's gonna like happen next week in the final day so we're gonna see the six teams will up against each other yep. in the 15th matches for the entire grand final 15 matches do you think like it is enough to I to make it happen as a grand final game can we say it's enough i think it's enough because a lot of uh what possibility mm -hmm. they can play and also, if I'm not mistaken, the portion for each map is similar, mm. so they can yeah play their best lah. I can say yeah. Yeah, so it's gonna be like a three days final. Yep, yep, yep. For them, and also we're gonna see the format in terms of points and also prize Ooh. pool. In terms of points, there are no uh, difference than the other tournament, especially official tournaments such as PMPL and also PMGC which elimination points equal one and also the total prize pool will that will be given to them is a hundred thousand dollars yep and our host gary already mentioned the number one or the champion will bring back home fifty thousand us dollars the number the two yeah the runner-up is thirty thousand yep and the uh, third place is twenty thousand but the special thing about uh, pubg mobile at isf right now there will be no team mm -hmm. will back to the lobby without points. Ah, yeah. yeah. Because like 
in the group stage, we're only gonna see like 12 to 13 teams max. Is that 13? Because 13 where? max. What I know, one team mm -hmm. is not joining, right? Because at the survival stage. Ah, let's see, let's see that. Let's see that. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah. Are they gonna join us for today? But this is the prize pool yep. breakdown that Eldoge mentioned earlier. Fifty thousand US dollar is half of the cut. They got a bunch of money if they are winning this IESF 14th World Esports Championship with that amount of money. I think it's bigger, bigger compared to like some of the regional tournaments. Yeah, right? yeah, 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 yeah. It's like the pro league, right? Mm. In each region, if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. So yeah, a lot of money and the fun for guess, a lot of team not only uh, coming from the community, yeah. but there are some teams that already compete at the pro league. But yeah. here we go. These are the countries that will be played at group A, B and C. Can you mention, Dona, uh, yep. which uh, team at Group A? So, Group A will be, there will be Libya, Senegal, Pakistan, Saudi Arabia, Brunei Darussalam, Azerbaijan, and also Sri Lanka. Group B will be Korea, Mauritius, Bahrain, Chinese Taipei, Vietnam, and also Iraq. And at Group C, Ghana, Jordan, Djibouti, Guatemala, Maldives, and also Egypt. Yeah, so based on this, uh, group and also these teams, we can see like some of the countries is like uh, maybe a little bit stronger, quote unquote. I guess so. Uh, compared to other team as well. So uh, yeah, let's see, let's see for today because we are gonna see nine total uh, matches for today, and it's gonna be like opened by Arangel. And we're gonna see Miramar is our second game for today, and also Sandhawk, and it's gonna be like repetitive. Yeah, after like this. I mentioned earlier, the distribution is similar mm -hmm. three Rangel, three Miramar, and also three Sandhawk each day for the qualifier uh, day. So that way, uh, the players will play their best. Yep. I mean, like if they ha had mistake at the first or second map, they mm -hmm. still can r fix it at the yeah. third game. And also, it's not only one day, they are having three days, so yeah. Try and error is still happening, I guess, for yeah. the first day. Yeah, still allowed to happen yep. like for the first uh, matches, but I think they cannot really like rely on trial and error, quote unquote, that too long, right? Mm. Because like we can see several times, quite often, that teams is too um, really comfortable, too comfortable in a uh, trial and error okay. phase. And then w they, in the end of the day, they are quite hard or have a hard time, I can say, in terms of like climbing up the ladder. Catching of, up. Yeah, uh, of points. But for me, uh, because, so wh what do I want to say? Oh, because it's only 19 teams maximum. Yeah. And the possibility is 11. So I ah. guess the percentage to go to the grand final is still high. But again, like you already mentioned before, do not be too comfortable yep. with your mistake. Yeah. With your mistake. Yeah. With your mistakes, because like you have to fix everything as soon as possible. Yep. Especially like we can see that from the group, from the teams, or for, from the countries, as you mentioned earlier, like there are several um, pro teams that, especially like some of them, some of them is competing in PMGC right now. Yeah, the highest, the highest the competition. Highest tier the highest tier in the uh, competition of PUBG Mobile. But looking at these countries, mm -hmm. Eldogi, mm -hmm. do you have like um, some intention or some like you have a really good vision for them in this tournament? For me, mm -hmm. when it comes to the country, I guess Vietnam will be one of the strongest uh -huh. because Eagle is already, we can say an old team. Yeah. They already competed a lot. So yeah. the chemistry is not questionable yeah. anymore right but again when we did for the asian qualifier yeah which titan won yeah they can even beat Tide. star wars yes yeah, yeah yeah right that was a crazy moment for yeah. us yeah even we were we were shocked I all mean, like, of indonesians are star wars when it comes to indonesian community we yeah. always say they are tukang pukul tukang pukul means a puncher yeah puncher yes. yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> so can beat uh, by Titan, even though Titan is a pro team mm. uh, also. Oh, mm -hmm. But when it comes to PMGC, it can different. Uh, the, the result is different again. Yeah. But uh, that's what I want to say. In ISF, I think 
expect the unexpected. Expect yeah. the unexpected in terms of everything, in terms yep, of yep, yep, games, yep. in terms of players as well. And what I wanted, I really looking forward to see like which players is actually like is gonna be like the brightest Ooh. star here yeah, in yeah, the yeah. IESA 14th World Esports Championship because like not only we're gonna see like the teams mm -hmm. as a whole package in uh, every country but we're gonna see like the players as well right I think I really agree with you uh, when it comes to PUBG Mobile we know it's a team game yeah but again if you want to escalate your gameplay the individual skill is needed yeah we can course. say, especially yeah, we we have the example again from the PMGC, the clutch, mm -hmm. and again the decision to uh, take a lot of uh, placement points. Mm -hmm. It's really needed. So yeah. yeah, maybe we can see another player that mm -hmm. will be at the same place like top maybe, Ooh. or Tixi <laughs> or Kitsune. Yeah. Or, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's see because like we can see from the team list. And also the players live there are like several names uh kind of like well-known names mm -hmm. from such a long time like um even though like we cannot really see azerbaijan in a, in a so many tournaments mm -hmm. or, uh, in the official tournament tournament but i saw like baku names several times okay in the tournaments like any other names as well so yeah it's gonna be like pretty interesting and i think uh, one thing we can say it's pretty interesting in isf mm -hmm. in terms they are the representative from their country mm -hmm. it can be different teams different yeah. pro teams in a country ah, yeah. let's say uh iraq if i'm not mistaken mm -hmm. iraq even though most of the players come from nigma galaxy yeah. but there are still uh, there is still one player from the other power. team which is power yep. Al -Hajj. so yeah that's i think one of the uh good point Yep. coming when it comes to the representative mm. from the country yeah same with the the, the house country itself indonesia, indonesia yeah right. even though we can say most of the player from kuda, kuda terbang, terbang but their lone one player which is maybe right yeah join kuda terbang so yeah that's uh, another fact about the players in uh, isf or yep. the pubg mobile itself and yeah. we're really re looking forward later on the grand final oh yeah sure we're really looking forward because like uh as you guys saw we're gonna see like um some of the strong countries as well yeah. and included indonesia as a house uh house country and i can really i cannot really wait to see like me be playing again because like we haven't seen him like for such a long time right okay. in the pmpl indonesia but again mm. the players are using samsung Oh. which is the Galaxy A series. Mm -hmm. uh, I want to tell you guys how this mobile food is really amazing. How is First it? of all, 8 gigabytes of RAM. Okay. So it's fast. Fast, yeah. 5G for the connection. Oh yeah, 5G. So say bye-bye mm? to... No response. <laughs> <laughs> then the memory is 256 gigabytes. So PUBG Mobile, it's easy. Yeah. yeah? No problem for you. Yeah. <laughs> Even a new update, no problem. No problem at new all. New maps, so fast. no problem. Yeah. You want to use all the high quality sound? No, no problem. problem. Yeah. <laughs> so that yeah. way. Yeah. So yeah. get yourself in Samsung Galaxy E Series 5G because one more. What? Most of the people still still use a mobile phone with 60 hertz. Oh, why is that? Why is 60 hertz? Samsung Galaxy A Series up to 120 hertz oh my god yeah. that is amazing especially for us pubg mobile players for we me. really what oh i'm using laces oh you know? yeah yeah i yeah. need a good uh, screen, screen yeah mm -hmm. because you know i'm so good at pubg mobile right yeah 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 i agree <laughs> Couldn't agree more. So I need a good uh, <laughs> smartphone like this, and I really uh, thankful for Samsung mm -hmm. because all the players will use the great smartphone. Yeah, yeah. especially Samsung Galaxy A Series 5G. There, are, I I believe there are three variants of it, mm -hmm. which is like A33 5G, of course, okay. A53, and okay. also A73. That I believe will meet your needs and also your wants in terms of playing games or on your daily drive oh so, yeah. so it's not you only for gaming right not only for gaming of course for your daily from driver, making a content content like you yeah like us yeah because like us like us all like of us, us. Oh, yeah okay. casters right casters, yeah mm, casters uh, have to make mm, contents because because we <laughs> need like to connect to connect. our audience and also the players as well That's in good. social media. Yeah, yeah. And also, 
Another thing we want to say uh, to the people, especially if you want to go to Indonesia. Yep. There is our official telco partner, which is Telkomsel. Oh, of course, the uh, number one. Yeah. Even though you already have Samsung Galaxy A series 5G, mm -hmm. if you are not using Telkomsel, hmm, it's it's mm. it's kurang. Kur what, what is what is in, the in Indonesia terms? It's kurang. Kurang. Not quite there not yet. Not quite there yet. Yeah, yeah, it's not quite there yet. Yeah, so you're you missing out. Yeah, so that way you need to check out Telkom especially when you go to Indonesia. Yeah. Or even Indonesian people itself use Telkom Me. You? Yeah. I yeah. Use, of course. Me too, of course. Yeah, of course. Yeah, because it's helped me. You know, I, um, uh -huh. uh, I like to ride bike, right? Uh, motorcycle, right? Yeah. To do touring around mm. all the uh, region in Indonesia. Yeah, which is beautiful. Telkomsel is the greatest mm. helper for me. Yeah, it's yeah. everywhere. It's reliable. You reliable yeah, is the reliable. words. it's yeah. reliable. Like you can go everywhere. But especially. before we start, I really want to so say sorry, I guess, for the international uh, viewers. Mm -hmm. If my English... Our... <laughs> our English... <Yeah. laughs> Okay. Maybe, maybe, maybe yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Better like say sorry in the first place yeah. rather than like rather later. Than later, <laughs> yeah. It's okay. We're we're all Indonesian, gonna have fun. Hmm? But for the Indonesian, support us, please. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, and I know that you guys cannot wait to see the battle between the counters, especially later on in the grand final, oh, to yeah. see how Kuda Terbang and also Plus One maybe mm -hmm. is gonna compete. Uh, with all of the contests as well, talking about Kuda Terbang Kuda and also Terbang. maybe. Okay. So maybe as a not with capital M, of course, mm -hmm. because maybe as a person is with capital M. Capital M, yeah. <laughs> maybe. Uh, well, uh, even though it's um, what? How how many days is it to the grand final? Right now it's two <laughs> grand final and eight, so then uh, six days. Six days, six yeah. Days, yeah. Even though it's still like uh, we have six days until the grand finals mm -hmm. i know it's uh, it's too early to talk about grand finals but well there's nothing wrong right yeah. especially if we are talking about indonesia and also about kuda terbang and also maybe how do you see kuda terbang and maybe because like kuda terbang actually we didn't really see them that much yeah. in terms of like the 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 PMPL Indonesia yeah, especially yeah, yeah. and also maybe maybe like I believe maybe like stop like not not stop entirely but like mm, haven't, pause yeah. yeah haven't played in the PMPL Indonesia for yeah, quite yeah, yeah. some times now I think two two seasons right we yeah, do not see maybe but when it comes to Kuda Terbang mm -hmm. I really like this team so I have a story about Kuda Terbang what last year. Kuda Terbang won a lot of tournament, uh -huh. especially the community, community or even the corporate tournaments, mm -hmm. right? Then they really want to join PMPL. Yeah. The only gate or the only way, uh, way to PMPL last year is from PMCO, right? When ah. it comes to Indonesia, maybe mm -hmm. it can be different uh, yeah. from the other countries. Yeah, so my hometown is actually far from Jakarta, the central of Indonesia. Okay. But the owner of Kuda Terbang went to my place to discuss where is it oh, <laughs> yeah you can mention it you, you can you can search it on google maps I yeah. Guess. <laughs> yeah so went to my hometown mm -hmm. and discuss how about the players how about the strategy i really like the spirit ah. because right now i think the community Change. they are still mm -hmm. competing but mm -hmm. i do not see the the fire the fire the passion yeah, the passion but ah. kura terbang still has it and i really like i really uh adore their spirit mm -hmm. and lo uh, and i really uh, can't wait if i can say yeah. to play uh, they are to uh, are going to play at the grand final mm -hmm. so yeah something like that yeah so yeah me too i mm -hmm. really cannot wait to see their action later on because like actually when kuda terbang played mm -hmm. they gave us such an amazing game as well oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so yeah, I cannot wait to see the uh, the grand final later on. Totally, totally, totally. But I think we can't only mention Kuda Terbang. Yeah. Because all the finalists, I think, will be a very an amazing team. Mm -hmm. why, why, why are you smirking that? <laughs> because I cannot wait to see everything, every cannot battle. Wait, here. Or cannot wait, I cannot hear. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. We are doing the casual cast. Uh -huh. Yeah. 
So not too serious. Yeah, so, uh, we're gonna like have fun. Only. Have fun, yeah, have because casual on Bali. Yeah, yeah, especially in Bali, yeah. like a beautiful place, like yeah. to chill out. Really. Are, are you person joining the WFB trend? What is that? Oh, we're from Bali. Mm. Oh, we're are from you? Bali. Yeah, I did actually. Two months, right? It's actually free. Oh, flexing. <laughs> yeah. <I'm laughs> Three months been in Bali. Oh my god, I feel like local already. But yeah, <laughs> tanning. Tanning. And you can do the surf. Yeah, surfing, yeah, even diving, like and everything. Even what? diving? Even diving. Okay. It's, it's amazing down there. <laughs> I'll try. <laughs> okay, but what, what, uh, what thing that, that you really want to try in Bali? Except in Bali? the food. Oh, the food. <laughs> I, I really want to ride uh, a bike mm -hmm. and go around Bali, ah, I think. Yeah, yeah. True rider here. True rider. I really like to ride a bike. Yeah. Like in Evangel Miramar Sanok, ah. there are bikes, right? Mm -hmm. what, what, <laughs> why, why do I say that? Yeah, and then? <laughs> Two minutes to the game. Yeah. Two minutes. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. I feel like the players are ready. Yeah. And what I really like about the setup of this event is we can see the players directly. So we can check on them. Are they ready yet? Or are they like really having the pressure? Or yeah. are they having fun actually? Because I think like they are not having fun right <laughs> now. They are so serious. Yeah, of course. But if they bring back the 50 grants, they're fun. Yeah. <laughs> they're having fun. I believe they, that yeah. the winner is going to like extend their stay in Bali like up until New Year's. Wow, <laughs> that's not extend. Become the new locals. Yeah. <laughs> Localized already, yeah. All right, so we are going to... Finally, let's go. Yeah, we're going to jump into the first game of the day. And we are hoping that everything will really run smoothly for, for, for the players, of yep, course. Yep. After like all of the support from our amazing sponsors and also partner. Because like we are going to see the full battle between the countries. Can I have the honor to say about the first game? Yep. So, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the first game, the OG map. Arrange it. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. All right. So here we go. The first flight up in the air of Arrange the OG map. And I can see that this is not a really nice flight path yep, for sir. most of the players. It's certainly to uh, pre morse if I'm not mistaken, from the flight path. So. For those teams who want to go to the eastern part or the right side of the map, in it vehicle, of course, because we do not know yet the first circle. And again, this is the first game, so they do not know the, I think the drop zone, uh, and again, drop zone and how the gameplay will work. So let's see later, but all the teams right now, Pakistan, 52x feather. So another fact for you guys, the Pakistan teams consist players from the same professional team, which is 52 Esports. Yeah, 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 yeah. Pakistan 52 Esports, which is like they were actually, even though we cannot really uh, see them that quite often in the uh, PMGC or like any other international tournaments, but in their region, they've won Pakistan Spring 2022, the first place, which is like, this is like a big win actually. But we can see, ooh, the first zone actually, Eldoge. Yeah. Really quite opposite. Like I said, this will be a very hard situation for them because it goes to the right side of the map. Yeah. They need the vehicle, they need all those things to move around. But I think I really like how Pakistan play right now because like I, I mentioned a lot when I do the analyst for Indonesian Pro Scene, mm -hmm. when you do not know the exact position, the drop spot from the other teams, mm -hmm. you need to do the scrapping. Yeah, right? of course. Yeah. Definitely, definitely. But... Okay, oh. I think our question has been answered because this is like 13 teams, yep. so there are no teams is uh, gonna building out of the so tournament. So Iraq are playing. Iraq is playing oh. right now, I believe, and I okay. cannot really wait to see how them play, especially in the early match. We are gonna see like the early engagement. Okay, at Pochin Kir right now, the Korean are going towards the enemy, Baku. Going to the second floor, still with the shotgun. Are they going to do it? Because 
I still do not see the other teammates from Baku helping him, but the South Korea, they are returning to play and going to Baku, knock him down the first elimination of the game. Oh my god, and I believe this is Guatemala. The Guatemala? first player, yes, I believe the first player of them has been eliminated, Pochin Ki. I don't, I, I've never like really seen Pochin Ki being like uh, battled up that much, actually. Like, Pochin Ki is like quiet. Not really that popular. I think there really there are two uh, for popular. Pochinki is still one of the big city. Yeah, easy it is. to find vehicle, high tier loot there. What I want to say is there's two perspective when you play the game. Yeah, play the games, mm -hmm. find new opponents. Mm -hmm. If you have your own drop zone or drop spot, and you are uh, you do not want to let it go, you mm. do not want to make it for the others mm. you need to fight the others mm. up until the end yes. if you win it you the drop spot will be yours yep. but if you lose it i don't know you want to fight it again at the next match it it's still possible still. but if you want to move it's not too uh it's not too late to yeah. do that yeah 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 and if you win your drop spot it's going to be like a big win for you especially in fortune key yep. because like as you mentioned earlier that fortune key is such a big city such a big place and also one of the hot drop as well like there are a lot of like good loot inside of fortune key but uh Eldoge, as you talking i can see and i can hear actually like live in this venue in this stage that some of the players are actually yelling to each other this early then so this is like very interesting for me to actually and finally to hear the live uh, player again but now not only uh azerbaijan lost one of the player but also senegal i believe uh, now because like in the uh live status on the right of the screen mm -hmm. we can see like two of the players that has been eliminated like i already mentioned before it's uh the possibility to meet when you do not know your okay. enemy mm -hmm. especially or the drop spot mm -hmm. the exact location mm -hmm. Yeah, it's high. It's, yeah, high. it's high. So that way, I really like how Pakistan play, how Sri Lanka play. Mm -hmm. They do the scrapping, and like a, uh, like we already knew, when it comes to the tournament room, it's times up. Yeah. Like the loot, the weapon, the utility. Mm -hmm. So that way, not only the big city will be a good place to drop, but when you do the scrapping, it's still. Uh, worth it. Yeah, I can worth say, it. Yeah. Worth it. Even we saw at PMGC, Gaka, mm -hmm. small compounds in Gaka has been like uh, really, really uh, battled up between two teams. Yeah. You can say that Nova and also no Nova and also no no, no from hospital. Gaka. Gaka. Yeah, Gaka. Oh Nova and, and oh my God, I <laughs> forgot. <laughs> we always. We always forgot But one. suddenly when the team's going out from Gatka, yeah. he's good, right? Yeah, they are good. Is that one million, if I'm not mistaken? I think yes, because like I only like uh, remember black and white colors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, you I'm sorry, guys. You can fact check us. Yeah, yeah, no yeah. No problem, yeah. No problem, no problem. Write in the comment down below yeah. if you remember that moment. Because like in this kind of tournaments, which we cannot really... Um, see the players or the teams in the PMGC or oh. any other international tournaments we only uh, we can like quite often uh, referring to any other international events or tournaments like PMGC but I guess don't know when we back to the game you uh, asking about Senegal why one of the players already went to the lobby I guess I can have uh, an opinion because they are going to Milta. Milta is far from the fly path. So maybe they are fighting for a vehicle uh -huh. uh, with the other team, which South Korea, because South Korea already got two. So yeah, that's happened. Yeah. Again, when you want to go to the place far from the fly path, mm -hmm. going for the vehicle mm -hmm. fight is totally happening uh, yeah. with all the leaks that we cast or do, uh, did the analyst. So yeah. yeah. Not a good start for Senegal, but they are still having three players, so yeah. still can fight. But right yeah. now, whoa, Vietnam. Ooh. This team that I predict before is contested by Bahrain. Yes, I believe because like, ooh, Bahrain right now. That seems like they are really confident and also committed to do pushing towards Vietnam. And Vietnam now lost one of the men. Yep, yep, yep. 
right now towards 2k one of the old players but the need coming in winnie be careful you're at the low hp but still with a fire going for the dp uh. oh one down from bahrain knocking him up but yeah another one maybe but from the vietnam that's the trade right now it's only two players from vietnam this is not easy bahrain still salomon what a good shot with ak two of the players from vietnam are down only one left one man left left there hang and dry and He's gonna like make something out of it. He's still trying because like the pressure is on him right now. Not only by the players of Bahrain, but also from the Blue Zone as well. But Namshin oh as God. the last man standing been eliminated. Vietnam, one of the strong contender here. One of the strong countries has been eliminated too soon. I guess this is what I said earlier. Expect the unexpected. Even though Vietnam with all the history, yeah, all, the all the chemistry, the even though Winnie, I guess, a new uh, player, right, for yeah. Eagle. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But they can be beaten by Bahrain. Oh, my God. This will be very amazing. But back again yeah. with the fight. Oh, oh, Eric is not sending Nigma and Power. Oh, this is a totally different lineup. I believe, like, this is, like, their second lineup. Maybe. Yeah. So, your yeah, Golden is being taken down. But the trade is happening again. One of the South Korea players. Knocked down. I think there will be a repositioning from the Korean team. Ooh. Two players vault with the UMP. The fire is good, but DBS is very strong. Uriel got one, but there's a backstab from Golden. So it's still a very long fight. Even though right now Uriel at the low HP, Mad Boy still can shot because the smoke is blocking the vision. Yeah, the smoke is helping them as well. But I really like how they. Uh, team Iraq really securing players from Korea right now and they're being bombarded, um, bombarded by the utility as well, by the granite as well, but they are like pulling back quite a bit right now, not really too rushing too fast into Korean player because like Iraq right now, they've lost two men already because they really need that time to revive those players and yeah, I think for now, both Korea and also Iraq is gonna have their time to really reset their position and also the situation. At first, I really like how South Korea play because they're blocking the vision when the fight happening with the smoke and they can reviving all the players. And right now, the Iraq has the same strategy even though the Iraqi team is only left with only three players. I guess when they have one kilometers approximately to the third circle, which is the most shifting circle yeah. when it comes to this type of zone. I think they need to move, yeah. Like I said, Iraq know it. Uh, this is not a good fight to continue. They are moving. Yeah. That's, I think, a really good movement from Iraq uh, team right now. Yeah, I think so. It's like such a wise decision for them, especially right now. Korea is gonna face any other team that is trying to get into the zone. But as Iraq moving around or moving out of the zone or into the zone, Korea really zoning out them very, very well. And with still four men standing now, Korea is going to move around or move out, but they are going to face any other <laughs> opponent now. But they are really committed to what? take one man down. Trade knocks have been happening right now as the other Korea member or Korea player also eliminated just like that in a snap of a finger. That's what I already mentioned. I... When you play, when you fight outside of the circle, there is a possibility teams will uh, wait for your movement toward yeah. the circle and they can do the surprise attack. Uh, remember, when you drop down from the vehicle, you can't suddenly shoot the enemy. Mm -hmm. There is an animation delay. Yep. So yeah, a very, a very easy fight, I guess, for Sri Lanka. But Sri Lanka now did the same. Because they uh, wait the enemy outside yeah. of the circle. Mm -hmm. Right now, Iraq is uh, the most what benefit team. Yeah. Because they can exit the fight, they can left the fight, and they can go inside the circle. Yeah, they really need, and they really have, I can say, the time to really set up the cam. Yep. And they found one. Then we can see, like, in the minimap as well, there are none of the teams or opening around them so in terms of position iraq right now is quiet um good yeah it's a quite good position for them and we're gonna see the nick zone shifting towards Ooh. the western area and we can see eldoge 
up to the north, there are so many teams that are gonna make their way into the zone. Of course, the entry of the north will be quite hard because earlier we saw a lot of team coming from Georgia Paul, a lot of team coming from Yasnaya. Mm -hmm. But I really like how Pakistan play. Mm -hmm. 52 is for Pakistan. Yeah. They are starting with a scrapping strategy mm -hmm. and they can go toward the circle. And this is the type of the circle you need a compound. Yeah. Because this is a circle near the shelter area, a mm -hmm. lot of open space. When you do not have the compound and you do not know the area well, you will be a shooting gallery from all the teams, yeah. especially the teams already camping on yep. shelter mm -hmm. or the or the, the compound area at the lower ground. So I think it's hard for the other team to fight Pakistan right now or uh, if, if the circle still uh, centraling around, not yep. going to shift anywhere. And it is happening, El Doge. The northeastern side of the oh. zone is going to be like chaotic as one team, one country trying their way to get into the zone and Chinese Taipei, I really like how they position themselves not only inside of the one spot or one place, they are being active to really scanning out the enemy right now uh, around them, especially yeah. at the edge of the circle. And when we talk about Chinese Taipei, for those who do not know, some of their players, Cheng Fu and Ho, Ho mm -hmm. Xuan, mm -hmm. actually are very old players. Mm -hmm. uh, old in terms of sin, not, not age. But uh, veteran. Veteran, yeah. Mm -hmm. They already play a lot and the latest one I saw them, mm -hmm. they are playing at the wild card yeah. for the PMPL Southeast Asia mm -hmm. the previous year, yeah. Yeah, so it's pretty interesting. And what is interest me is all of the uh, most of the teams or the countries mm -hmm. plays not too passive in yep. this match. It's kind of like quite uh, rare to see, especially in the first of the game. And we can see Azerbaijan, I believe, yep, yep, yep. eliminated the entire country and they're securing one compound at the edge of the circle. But we can see on the mini map, one country is gonna go towards them and that is Saudi Arabia. This is what I already mentioned before Donna. When it comes to this type of circle, you need the compound. So that way the aggressive gameplay is happening. Yeah. Because they need the compound, they need to fight the players, the opponents that already inside the compound. Ah, yeah. So that way, uh, but I think Saudi will not do uh, an, uh, what, a, a bold push yeah, bold towards push. the player of uh, Azerbaijan. Yep. They need to secure their way. Yeah, because it's already uh, happening for the zone or the circle number four or the fourth zone. So that way they just need the knockdown mm. so they can move safely. Yeah, yeah. because like we can see uh, in front of them, there are two countries right now and they still have like more than a half kilometer away yep. to into the zone. And I can see here, Yo. Saudi Arabia move is quite wise because like, again, they still got like a long way to go inside the zone and they move as, as much uh, as fast as possible yep, yep, yep. and not risking anything the, uh, on the edge of the circle. But at the uh, on th at the other side of the zone right now we can see like more than two and um, three this is three countries who are yep. gonna facing each other up three team showdown but i think pakistan will have the biggest benefit because bahrain is still fighting with senegal if i'm not mistaken yeah mm -hmm. right now pain is giving the pain towards the enemy but what a great shot with a hip fire but again because pakistan has better position they have one player at the top but they are not knowing one player from bahrain is still camping inside that compound so that way, it's a very surprising attack coming from Bahrain. But Pakistan still inside the circle. Salman still defending. Before, I think Salman will be wiping uh, wiped out by uh, Senegal. But yeah. because Pakistan come right now, so Salman still can save his life. He can still play at the game. But this is the Chinese Taipei still shooting towards the front line of their place. One knockdown from Pakistan, and I think this is the moment for Chinese Taipei will go towards the circle. See, from the mini map, they already used the yeah. vehicle. Mm -hmm. They want to push this compound and have the position at the fourth circle. Yeah, but I'm really intrigued to see the battle between the last man standing, I believe, from Pakistan and also Salman. 
inside of the same building, the mushroom building now because like especially the last man standing, one of them is uh, Faas, I believe, yes, Faas, yep, yep, yep. has no helmet anymore. No helmet? No helmet okay. anymore, so it's gonna be like disadvantage, a major, a big disadvantage for him. Yep, 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 even though uh, he is still inside a circle, but again, without helmet, <laughs> yeah, it's so hard. It's so hard. Especially it's at the lower ground, so mm. it is easily spotted by the higher ground, which yeah. is Chinese Taipei, but that's the end oh. for Pakistan because Salman again did the clutch quite well. So Oof. two players from Pakistan mm -hmm. beaten by Bahrain. Salman, uh, Bahrain yeah. Yeah. Salman itself, yeah. Salman from Bahrain, right? I believe so because right now we can see the status from Bahrain. See? They got five elimination points, but Salman gotta be really careful because I believe this is Azerbaijan with two men still. Yep, they yep, yep. are no. They know where Salman oh. is, but Goz Prime is really getting the major damage coming from newbie from Brunei Dar es Salaam. This is what I predicted before. This type of circle, a lot of open field, a lot of open space, and when you do not have compound, when you do not know the exact terrain, how yeah. to play, mm -hmm. you will easily getting shot by player from shelter. Yeah. Because shelter right now is the higher ground, mm -hmm. and the lower ground is quite wide. Yeah, and especially if you don't know how to use your utility yep, 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 very, yep. very well. And right now we can see Salman has been bombarded by Saudi Arabia yep, with yep, a yep. full squad, full power. And that's his SK Ton eliminated Salman Bahrain. All of the players out of the game yeah. and Saudi Arabia securing their fourth elimination point. Not only the fourth elimination, a lot of vehicles. Yes! Of course, yeah, 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 a lot of vehicles that they've been securing and it's gonna be like really useful to enter the last zone or the last war later yep, on. Yep, yep, and Sri Lanka right now try to go toward the circle but I think they know there's still one enemy behind so instead they want to clear the enemy or want to uh, go uh, towards the circle I think it's still uh, questionable coming from Sri Lanka, but for, from Libya, because one of the players being knocked down, I think they do not want to go to the place same as uh, Sri Lanka. Mm -hmm. They move around to the right side, but again, another player being knocked down. Sri Lanka, I think this team know how to handle play uh, slow pace gameplay, ah. because first of all, they do the scrapping. They do not have a very good weapon at the beginning, mm -hmm. but when they already cut the rotation from the enemy, get the airdrop and right now they can play from the outer side so yeah, yeah they can shoot their team a lot like right now coming from sri lanka but brunei contesting the shoulder and they got one this is so good position for them so far yeah Bruna. yeah especially in the western side at the edge of the circle we can see them in the mini map they are quiet uh chill Right now, yep, yep, yep. it was like uh, I believe the chaotic movement or spot is gonna be happening uh, in the northeastern side of the circle, especially with Saudi Arabia really setting up their cam, rich cam, and they are gonna fight up against. I believe this is like Chinese IK, and we yeah. are moving towards the southern area of the circle. And right now, we can see Libya up against each other or, or their opponent, but our camera back again towards or into Saudi Arabia versus Chinese Taipei. This is a big question mark uh, inside my mind. Mm. I don't know why Saudi tried to push towards Chinese Taipei. Mm. First of all, they are already inside the zone. The second, they can play the lower ground and they are having a good obstacle, but they try to push Chinese Taipei and right now the condition is reversed. Yeah. Saudi Arabia when they try to push Chinese Taipei already holding their position uh, very wise. Uh -huh. They already have four different points. Uh -huh. So four different angles shooting towards Saudi Arabia. So right now Saudi Arabia even though still have three players active but two of the players are in a low HP. Yeah, yeah. If Chinese Taipei want to push them right now it's a very big disadvantage for yeah. them. Is very very big disadvantage for Saudi Arabia, but I thought with that kind of movement, mm -hmm. Saudi Arabia really know how to handle <laughs> Chinese Taipei because like they seemed very confident 
when they setting up the camp or setting up the uh, pre-war yep, yep, yep. situation, but right now they are the one who really have a hard time against Chinese Taipei. And Chinese Taipei, we can see with the ridges, with the terrain, they don't really need to setting up the that much of the smokes. Yeah, and um, one thing uh, I get. Uh, I guess earlier Saudi Arabia will use a lot of vehicle around uh, uh. the scout tower or the mushroom yeah. uh, compound mm -hmm. because Bahrain there, then uh, Pakistan there, yep. they can use the vehicle towards the Brunei place right now. But yep. Brunei did it first. They want to contest uh, the other uh, enemy which is Sri Lanka and they did it well. So mm -hmm. yeah, Brunei did it uh, pretty well right now and the top three, Brunei, Saudi and Chinese Taipei. Oh, still Chinese Taipei will facing Saudi Arabia at the edge of the circle and Saudi Arabia has really has really a good Whoa. information about the uh, position of Chinese Taipei but Chinese Taipei doesn't allow Saudi Arabia to Ooh. move out really freely but Saudi Arabia uh, finally got their timing to really make it south for Chinese Taipei and really want to bombard Chinese Taipei's players one by one and some utility has been used really, really effectively. Yeah, but Brunei, I think, yeah, the 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 problem is Brunei right now because mm -hmm. Brunei is interrupting the battle between yep. these two teams, these two teams, and they are shooting from the high ground. But Hong, Hong is the greatest investment for <sighs> Chinese Taipei right yeah. now because he is on the front line. Mm -hmm. He is using the submachine gun, which mm -hmm. is very good at close combat vector, even though there's no extended mag for him. Mm -hmm. But uh, let's see because Chinese Taipei right now reduce uh, their temper, but when Hong already opened their fight, the other player from the high ground shooting toward the Saudi, this is a really that lock position for Saudi, oh. only one left, and look at that movement, Hong low HP, yeah. change again from the other player, but again Brunei interrupting the fight, Brunei got the best advantage right now, they have the high ground, they are still four players, oh. and they want to secure all the points, they do not want only the chicken, but they they won the elimination, I guess. Oh my god, Brunei really messing out with both <laughs> Saudi Arabia and Chinese Taipei. And they are gonna take this opportunity, biggest opportunity for them. I believe this is like gonna be a win for Brunei Jerusalem because like we can see Chinese Taipei is really having a hard time with that really, what? really aggressive push. But Chinese Taipei is the one that had been eliminated before. Saudi Arabia. Yep, the last man standing still. Whoa, wow, knocked down. That's good. But again, the Brunei Darussalam has the first winner winner, Chicken Dinner. Whoa, right. Winner, winner, Chicken Dinner secured by Brunei Darussalam. Well, congratulations. We can see that they really play the game very, very well. And I believe this has got to be 14th elimination for them. And this is the 14th World Esports Championship <laughs> by IESF. Hmm. And? And? No. no. <laughs> I know that you can say this is like uh, 14th. Yeah. What? what Two o'clock? No. Two o'clock? No, 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 no. no, 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 no. We're not there yet, El Doge. But we still have... 2 more. December. What is... 14 o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. It's too Sorry. what? It's too early to start. Too early to yeah, start to start like the jokes like the that. Joke yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but congratulations again for Brunei Darussalam. What a great gameplay! I think the key for them is uh, very aggressive at the mid game. Uh huh. Then at the late game, they play quite patient. Patient. Uh, they yeah. can uh, when they already eliminate Sri Lanka. Mm -hmm. They have the high ground. They control all the game uh, after that, and they wait. The fight happening between Chinese Taipei and also Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia. And when the moment is, uh, it, they have the moment yeah. when the Chinese Taipei appear, yeah. they are pushing towards all the players and they won the game really well. And I believe Saudi Arabia are really thankful that um, Brunei came to toward Chinese Taipei yep. in the first place before coming to wiping out the entire players of Saudi Arabia but I believe the factor of that is because the last man standing from Saudi Arabia is quite far oh, back yeah. there not really that um, uh, crowding the area mm -hmm. or like not really gathering up 
uh, with the other players of Saudi Arabia. Maybe that's why. Yeah, of the maybe reason. that's one of the reasons, yeah, to make uh, Saudi Arabia can fight well. But mm. again, I think when it comes to Saudi Arabia, I can uh, elaborate one more thing. Why is that? Because, like I mentioned earlier, 19 teams, 11 qualified is still a big percentage. Yep. So they play really aggressive to boost up their uh, mentality. Ah, yeah. They do not want to play passive because back again when you uh, play mobile games, yeah. especially with the muscle memory, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you do not shoot, you do not push, you ah, do not think yeah. about the game. You just want to play passive. I think that's not a good for the long term. Yeah. Yeah. Just play as you play, as it is, as yeah, yeah, usual gameplay that you played. And we are gonna see. It. The, we are gonna see the highlights of the game. I really love the, this first kind of game. This kind of game is quite rare. Back again, I, I, I really want to mention it once again. We rarely see this kind of movement, yep. this kind of aggressive gameplay coming in the first day, especially in the first match. Because like, uh, quite often, some of the, if, uh, quite often what is happening is rather the game is going to be really aggressive like you mentioned earlier mm -hmm. uh, it's gonna be like a, a, a more more clash inside of the hot drop or it's gonna be like the polar opposite like this one and one more thing what only 13 teams that's right and they play this aggressive it doesn't feel like we have 13 teams only right yep, yep, yep. it's it feels like six, 16 teams yeah or, or even more <laughs> you know what i feel like i cast a pm pmrc <laughs> Oh yeah, <laughs> even though the circle yeah. is not same. Yeah, even yeah. though it's not the same circle, it's not the same zone setting. Yeah, I hope it continue lah. Yeah, I yeah. hope it is. Because it's like so fun to watch. Yeah, so fun to watch because the fight is uh, is what we are waiting for, right? Yep. Yeah. And we gotta see the strong um, police style and the strong setup, I believe, uh, from all of the countries here. But talking about the last a war between Chinese Taipei and also Saudi Arabia again because like it is what intrigued me that much mm -hmm. what what I can say is Saudi Arabia and Chinese Taipei's war is isn't it too long for you like you are really um, what is it called engaged the war too long for what? me I think when it comes to long or short war, mm -hmm. it depends on the condition also, right? Mm -hmm, yeah. So I guess because, uh, first of all, China Taipei can win uh, for the Saudi Arabia team to already knock down three, if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. But again, they have not a good terrain to yeah. do the push. Mm -hmm. And also they already split up for different angle yeah. to shoot towards the Saudi Arabia. So they do not, uh, or they can't do the commit fight. Mm -hmm. And the second, reason Brunei did a very fast paced movement when yeah. they already eliminate Sri Lanka they do not do the loot they do not yeah, camping around but they are moving toward the circle they control the high ground so that way when China Taipei want to fight it's easy to shot from behind and it happened mm -hmm. China Taipei suddenly uh, pinch mm -hmm. by two teams mm -hmm. and they are wiped out instantly yeah something like that yeah, yeah. and yeah but but I'm t I I think I'm talking t more towards like in the POV from Saudi Arabia because yeah. like they are the one they were the one who Let's ask them. has disadvantage. What? Let's ask them. Or <laughs> ma or ma or ma scary maybe. Oh yeah, yeah. scary <laughs> maybe. This is the overall ask. statistic for no. the six total elimination. We can say that a low. Uh, numbers because only 13 teams mm -hmm. mm, throw years this throw is what yes. i like yeah only 13 teams <laughs> but more than 200. this is my highlight yeah. as well i still i see that throw users huh more yeah. than 200. always for the throw use i mean because uh, the difference between uh i'm sorry to say this a low quality gameplay mm. and high quality gameplay is True. how to use the utility Course, the yeah, smoke definitely. for the uh, for blinding the vision, the smoke to make the path mm -hmm. towards the circle, mm -hmm. or even the nade yeah. to destroy the enemies. Or Molly yeah, also, eliminated. yeah, to eliminate the enemy. So yeah, I really like it. Two hundred, only thirteen teams, and look at Saudi Arabia, forty-five smokes, twenty-six grenades. Oh. It's a big number actually. We can see that mm. from the smoke itself. 
we can see how struggled Saudi Arabia was in the first yeah. game of the day, especially facing Chinese Taipei. Because like we ca we can see the smoke is like never ends. Yeah, and remember when you have forty five or even thirty more utility, yeah. it means you fight the other teams. Yeah, because you loot their crate, yeah. you got another additional smokes in need, mm -hmm, and you can throw a lot like this. Because it's uh, like impossible to yeah. carry this much yeah, of yeah, a yeah, yeah. Uh, utility in the first place, right? Yeah, at the first place. And this is a very, uh, what, undebatable moment mm -hmm. that Saudi Arabia play really aggressive. Yeah. Yeah. So that way, I think they need to, uh, they just want to boost their, uh, boost their morality, mm -hmm. their mentality, so they will play well. At the next and um, until the last match. Oh yes, and back again, ladies and gentlemen. This is like a very interesting match, the first match of the day, and it makes me like cannot really wait to watch the next oh. games, especially with a different maps. We are gonna see like a different, totally my, 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 different my, my, my. gameplay. What is that? Miramar. Oh yeah, oh. Miramar, me. <laughs> No, what is we, can, we can't, we can't, wait. we can't do this right I now. Can, <laughs> I wanna, I wanna do it in English. No, no, <laughs> we can't, we can't. Our vocabulary is limited, so don't try that. Don't try that. No, I'm, I'm gonna keep attacking <laughs> no, no, please, you. Please, please, don't do that. It's gonna be like fun if we're doing in English. <laughs> Mira Marmi. Miss. Oh, miss. miss. Hmm. Ra. Ra. Mar. <laughs> later on but before that we are gonna toss to our amazing host once again Gary Oika take this out thank you Donna and Eldoke and as you guys can see the first I am Betutu is goes to Brunei Darussalam <laughs> what a game for today the first match on a PUBG mobile ISF 14 World Esports Championship 2022 so this is not the end, we still have a lot of match here, so don't go anywhere. We will have a short break after this one, still on ISF 14 World Esports Championship 2022, after this one.